Hello, Adolowers. Today, I have a very fun and short uh, tutorial to just show you how to use the barcode scanner um, tool in, uh, in Adalo, the custom component. I don't use this for QR codes. I don't really know why people, it, it's so fascinating for the QR code side of things, but I think the barcode side opens a lot of doors for business apps. Whether you have a mobile sales force, whether you're doing inventory management, whether you're building an ERP or a food lookup app, uh, the barcode is just so you know, so much more universally present and prevalent than um, than a QR code scanner. That uh, for me, that's the fascinating one. So I have a simple app here, and I think this gets a bad rap. A lot of people talk about uh, having problems with this. I thought this was very very easy to set up. I'm going to show you this in my app. One of the big things about this is that um, you can't do this in preview, okay? So I think that probably throws off a lot of people that if you do the preview mode, um, you're, you're just not gonna be able to, to use the scanner. So you have to put it on test flight. It's in my, uh, on my phone right now. So I'm going to go to add a product, which will take us to my little scanner page here. And you can see now I've got the camera on. And all I'm going to do is just scan this barcode. I've got a little coffee here. It doesn't really like to scan this one. I did this earlier and it just really did not like the fact that there's so much water on it. There we go. And now we're on our add product screen. So I'm just going to create a little product here Birdie coffee, take a little photo of this. So we have a product photo. Okay. And we can see this happening live while I'm updating this on my phone um, because we're updating the records in here. Okay, so this is the item we just scanned. Now we're uploading all of our information. Let's just go back to this. And we've created a new product. This is the barcode. Voila, it was very easy. <coughs> Bless me. And on the other side, let's find that product and scan that product. So uh, when I go to my scan product screen, you can see that I've got a scanner at the top, like here. I've got the uh, search bar and a list of my products that's filtered to the search bar so you can't see anything. So if I come back and I scan this again, Really does not like that water on there. I'll talk about a hard on the scan. This is probably anticlimactic, isn't it? There we finally go. All right, so finally got it and it pulled it up there. So we can see our birdie coffee. I hope that tutorial was helpful. This is a very simple uh, component to use. Um, it really gives you a lot of power to build product-based, um, physical product-based apps. So whether it's you know helping somebody with dieting or finding uh, you know specific food items in a grocery store, whether you're doing inventory management. Again, whether you're doing you know, mobile sales and you're going to stores and you need to look up items or uh, add items to an order, this is an excellent app to do all that. And it'll be really interesting to see what you build with it. So if you like this video and my other videos, definitely check out Nodalo. It's our dedicated Nodalo course. We have over seven and a half hours of video like this 
and the specific tutorials behind each of these videos. So we walk through step-by-step -step how to build this app and many others like Uber clones and uh, booking apps like ClassPass. That's a great resource to learn how to start building with Adalo from whether you're a beginner or whether you're already almost an expert. Um, that's really the best place to go to see all this information and really learn from it. If you like this video, definitely subscribe and give it a thumbs up. That really helps me personally. Um, and that helps YouTube know that this was a helpful video, which will help other Adalo people find it as well, which helps the whole community. So that'd be great if you did that. Thanks.